Hi, this is Dean Hopkins, and um, what I'm doing today is uh, I'm going up to some friends of mine's office up in June Luck in Perth. Uh, now, Dave, Alan, and Sharon Sims, they're doing a great job at helping people quit smoking. And uh, being an ex smoker myself, I really support what they do. Um, but what they do, they do something a little bit different because they use hypnosis to help people quit. Uh, not everybody knows about hypnosis, but uh, it's a really, really good system. Uh, they guarantee it fully. Um, if they don't get you to quit in 60 minutes in one session, then you can go back as many times as you like until they get you to quit. So um, we're going to go up to their office today and we're going to talk to a couple of their clients who've been successful in quitting using their system. And uh, we may even get to talk to Dave and Sharon as well. So. Uh, Come along with me and uh, we'll see you soon. So here we are. As we said, we're coming up to see uh, to Dave and Sharon's office. Um, the quit smoking specialist and I'm with Janet. Janet. And um, you're now an ex-smoker or a non-smoker, is that I right? am a non-smoker. Yeah. yeah, okay. So um, how long how long is May it? May 16th. May 16th I'll this quit year. Smoking, yes. Right, okay. And um, had you tried to quit before? Um, I had tried to go cold turkey on the odd occasion. Mm. I considered patches but never used them. Um, was not very successful. Right, yeah, I think I hear that a lot. So, how long had you been smoking for before that? Um, not quite 20 years. 20 years, that's quite a long time. Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. so how does it feel now to be a non smoker? Um, it almost feels like I've um, got a second chance at life and my lungs just feel better and me personally just feel so mm. much better. Mm. So had you heard about hip using hypnosis before? I had smoking? heard of hypnosis before. Um, somebody that I knew had tried hypnosis. Um, didn't work for them. So I was a little bit sceptical. Yeah, yeah, I know. I mean, a lot of people are not quite sure about hypnosis. So did you, I mean, did you know anything about hypnosis or did it... Uh... Well, I actually um, witnessed somebody get hypnotised probably um, 12 months ago. Mm -hmm. Not for quit smoking, but just hypnosis. Mm -hmm. And I spoke to them and asked them what the experience was like. And it's not that you don't know what's going on, you're completely aware of what's happening, mm. but you just don't seem to have any self-control, but it's all quite safe. Mm. So I sort of knew a little bit like that, and I just I just wanted to quit smoking. <laughs> <laughs> so did you think it would work for you, or you were a bit sceptical, like you said? Or? I was I was hopeful that it would work. Mm. Um, yes, I probably was a little bit sceptical, um, but because it was a lifetime guarantee, I thought, you know, like, if it doesn't work this very first time, I'll come back next week. Mm -hmm. I'll come back next month. I'll do whatever I have to do to make sure that it does work. Mm -hmm. But I only need it to come once. So what about the session itself? Did it? Uh, um, how did that go? Oh, it was very easy. It was simple, um, really quite easy. Um, yeah, didn't have any issues with it. And was that a sixty-minute? Because they reckon you can do it in 60 minutes, don't they? So, did it take 60 minutes? I think or? it possibly took a little bit longer than 60 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it was, uh, it was amazing. The person that I walked in and the person that I walked out were two completely different people. Mm. How I saw the world. So, it's had an impact on your life as well, as well as just giving up smoking. Oh, certainly, yeah. yeah. I, I think when I walked out of here and I walked down the stairs, um, I felt lighter. Mm. For some reason, I don't know. When I walked outside, the world seemed to just open up and be brighter, and I seemed to be more aware of things. I don't know why, wow. but I did. Um, <laughs> it was a it was a really awesome experience. So, do you think that's because of hypnosis or, or <coughs> smoking? I think it's. I think it was probably for the fact that it was a combination of the hypnosis and that I had just made the first step in my new life that I was going to be smoking. Mm. Mm. Because I'm an, I'm, I mean, I'm an ex-smoker as well, I didn't use hypnosis, so the feeling that I had was like a new life. Yep. It was just like gaining a new life, not giving up smoking, but getting a new life. Did you, do you get that sort of sense of feeling as well? Well, that's exactly how I feel because when you're a smoker, there's only certain places that you can smoke, there's only certain times that you can smoke throughout the day when you work full time or what have you, 
and it's almost like you isolate yourself from the rest of the world. Mm. So when you stop smoking, it opens up so many different and better avenues. Yeah, because you don't have to worry about... We don't have to hide around the corner. <laughs> you don't like have to outcast. think about how much you smell when you go back into the store, yeah, yeah. depending on your job. So there's yeah. so many um, beneficial things mm. for quitting. Yeah. And, of course, money as well. Yeah, it's it was a like, bit cheaper. <laughs> well, it is. I never worried about the money side of it. Mm. It was, if I wanted to do it, I chose to do it. But I felt that smoking controlled my life and I wanted to take control of my life. Mm. So, that's... Yeah, that's right. Do you get cravings still? Or, or did you ever get any cravings when you, when Personally, you stopped? Personally, to me, I, I don't believe that I did. Mm. Other people in my life would say that, yes, I did. Um, but I've never... I've never really craved to have a cigarette since mm. the 16th of May. And you smoked for 20 years. How many did you smoke a day? Was you a big smoker or...? Oh, I could smoke, it varied anywhere from 10 to 15 to 20 a day. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's, that's fairly significant, really. So, <laughs> um, and, and it was it's the routine. It's like, you know, I, I couldn't get out of... I'd get up in the morning and the first thing I'd think about was having a cigarette. Now, it didn't matter whether I got up at 9 o'clock in the morning or 4 o'clock in the morning to catch a plane. I, the first thing I thought I had to do was have a cigarette. I can get up in the morning now and just start living. Yeah, start your day. Without having to have that fix. Mm. So. What about any other... Um, I mean, a lot of people worry about putting on weight and things like that. Did you have any problems like that? Um, I, I, I probably have gained a little bit of weight. But I don't necessarily think it's 100% contributed to the quit smoking. I've mm. actually had a change of lifestyle as well. Mm. Um, but I'm certainly, I haven't stacked on weight mm. and I still feel very healthy. Yeah, we well, don't look <laughs> so, <laughs> you don't overweight or anything. So, so um, you know, I've, I've always played sport and yeah. now that I don't smoke, I feel better. Mm. I feel that I can run a game out instead yeah. of coughing up the lungs behind Yeah, yeah. No, I know something. the feeling, yeah. And it is, because it is, it's like uh, a completely new life. And do you find um, like things like food, for instance, I found food tastes so much better. After a few months, it could taste things and different tastes were coming in. Have you noticed anything like that? I wouldn't say that I've really noticed a dramatic taste mm -hmm. difference. Um, but I certainly um, more, my, my senses are better, particularly mm -hmm. in smell. Mm -hmm is that I can really notice smells better now mm. than I did in the past. Yeah, yeah that's, I found that too. That's what I've heard a lot of people say that, you know, food tastes different and better, uh, sense of smell, of course you can breathe and, yeah. you know, not coughing and, you know, and of course don't feel like a social outcast when you've <laughs> got to run out no, for a cigarette. No, that's right, you don't have to go and hide somewhere. Yeah.